previous class so we were doing the questions are related to work done and the work done is simply that it shows into displacement and uh, we have done questions are related to vector point function with the help of line integral so let us continue with the same uh, suppose we have to evaluate the circulation work done is also mean that uh, the circulation of a, a vector so the question is find out the circulation of a vector f the statement is a vector f is given to us by i j j k plus x k k this is a vector point function and you have to find out the circulation around the curve c so this is the curve c we have this is the curve given to us the name of the curve is c you have to find out the circulation around the curve c okay uh, c is not like that c is given to us c is given to us as the equation of a cylinder so this is the equation of a cylinder so uh, this is not your c in this case so i am going to erase this so your c is the equation of a cylinder so let us plot the cylinder we have uh, we have a three axes uh, this is the x axis and this is the y axis and this is the z axis so the cylinder is given to us so this is the cylinder we have and uh, the base of the cylinder is there and this is the base of the cylinder with the center at origin and the base is lying in xy plane so that is why the equation of circle in xy plane is given to us and this is the uh, cylinder along z axis that is why it is z is equal to 0 because in xy plane z is always 0 <laughs> so this is the equation of a cylinder given to us with the base as a circle because uh, the cylinder has a base shape is a circle so f is given to us that is y i and z j plus x now uh, for this equation of circle we can find out the parametric equations so parametric equations are x is equal to cos t and y is equal to sin t So these are the parametric equations, or you can also say that the polar form of the equation, and where t having limits zero to two pi, because the equation of circle represents the complete revolution of 360 degree. So what it comes out to be, we will be able to find out the position vector R, that is x i cap, y j cap, and j k cap. This is a standard, and uh, this comes out to be the R vector. That will be the differential of this. That is b x i cap, b y g cap, plus b j k cap. So you can uh, substitute the values of these differentials now, and uh, the differentials will come out to be the R vector b x. So derivative of x. That will be minus sine t into i cap plus derivative of cos t. That will uh, sine t. That will come out to be cos of t into j cap. Because it is a derivative with respect to t, so with that we should have d t. And uh, what is the d j? Because the j is given to us zero, so the differential of the j is equal to zero will be. This is that is equal to zero. The differential will be d j also equal to zero. So this is your uh, vector d r. Therefore, we can find out f bar d r. And uh, what is f given to us? That is by i k. So it comes out to be minus by uh, sine t plus j cos of t. This will be the dot product 
input dt. dt will be there. We call this dt is there. Now, what is the value of z? Z is zero. So you can substitute z is equal to zero. And what is the value of y? Y is sine t. So y is sine t, and this is sine t is also there. And the value of z is zero into cos of t dt. So I think by f dot dr term also be minus sine square t dt. So for finding out the circulation of the vector point function, circulation mean this line integral f dot dr. This is the meaning of the circulation of the vector point function. So you can write down here. This is the circulation of a given vector point function. You can put the value of f dot d r that is minus sine square t into d d and t is having linear shape 0 to 2 pi. Now you can integrate it now. So uh, that is the minus uh, sine is common. And you can take the minus sine outside of the integral sign. So it can be written like this. So sine square t dt. Now here we shall do the reduction formula. Now reduction formula is very much helpful for finding out the integration of a square function. And uh, we know that sine t is odd function in the interval sine t pi minus theta and that come out to be uh, minus sine theta. But if we want to find out the bar square in this interval, sine square t pi minus theta, so that will be minus sine theta whole square. So it come out to be a sine square theta. Ultimately, what I want to say that in this interval 0 to 2 pi, the sine square function is always an even function. And for the even function, we have the property that is 0 to pi, we need the half angle and multiply it with 2. This is the property which we have done in 10 plus 2 class. Uh, the statement of the property was like that, that is uh, 0 to 2 a, and that it can be written as a Zero to two a into f of x dx. So if f of x is even function, so we will multiply it into the two and taking the half of the upper limit. So half of the upper limit is a. So f of x dx. If f x is even, but if f x is odd, it will have zero value. And in the place of even, you will have this. I am using this property because f of uh, t, that is sin square t, is an even function in the interval. So that is why we can do like that. And further, in the interval 0 to pi, we also have sin square t function. And sin square t function is again an even function. So you again multiply it with 2 and it will be the half of the upper limit. So half of pi is pi by 2, that will be sin square t. So it comes out to be minus 4, 0 to pi by 2, sin square t. Now the reduction formula is applicable. Be very careful uh, how to find out and how to write down the value after removing reduction formula. Minus 4 is there, we will use. Now and the power is 2. So you subtract 1 from this. So after subtracting 1 from the power, you will get 1. So 1 upon the power will be written as it is 2. And if the power is even power, you multiply it with 5. So this is the uh, application of this integral by the help of reduction. I also explain a, a, a small example for this. Suppose we have 0 to pi by 2 sine of 8 uh, theta d theta. For applying reduction formula, the limits should always be 0 to pi by 2. 
Now eight minus one will be seven, then five, then three, then one. You will do up to the uh, value, then whenever you write one. And in the denominator, eight, six, four, two. Now after two, you always have zero, but you will not uh, do like that. That you are writing zero. Zero will not be written in any case. And uh, because it is uh, even power, so you multiply it by five. Now simply like this, you will have that expression. Now the cosine term will also have same value. If there is a cos of a theta, uh, cos of theta part theta, you will have the same. But if uh, the part is odd. Suppose we have a cos of seven part theta. So seven minus one, you will have six, four, two. And in the denominator, we start with the power seven, five, three, and one. Because this is odd power, so you are no no need to multiply it with really five. So this is the reduction formula which you can use whenever it is required. So uh, this of four has been cancelled and then you to the minus five. So this is the circulation of the given vector point function. If you want to find out the integral, the value of an integral by any other formula, you can find out. But I am just uh, giving you one more option to apply the attraction formula. <laughs> now, uh, let us come to another question. Uh, this question is also very important. Find the circulation of a vector f that is equal to e bar x sine y i cap plus e bar x cos y into j cap. And c is what is the curve c? The c curve is the rectangle we have. So uh, you plot the rectangle. The rectangle is O A B F. No need to take on C because C is the total term. So put it as P. So A B B. You always take. You always move in anti-clockwise direction. So C is the curve. O A B B B C and B B and P B. So this is the total curve we have. And the points are given to us: zero, zero, and this is one, zero, and this is one pi by two, and this point is zero pi by two. So all the four points have been given to us, and uh, you have to find out the circulation of vector f along the curve C. And uh, C is the curve. Of a angle whose vertices are given to us. Now we know that what is f dot dr? Dr is a standard vector. So e bar x sine y into dx, e bar x cos y into d y. Now the component of k is not there because the angle is always a two degree. So that is why there is no component of k is there. So this is. A, Uh, the value of f dot d. Now, what is the meaning of circulation? Circulation means along the curve C, that is f dot d will be the value. So this is e bar x sine y dx plus e bar x cos y d. This is the value. Now, what is the curve C? The curve C has been the uh, Uh, in the, uh, in the uh, formation of a rectangle with four sides. The sides are O T, which is the first side, and the plus T B. <laughs> Then we have B P, and the last one is we have plus T O. So. The value will be written as it is e bar x sine y into d x plus e bar x cos y into d y. So, I'll write down the value of 
Apple dot dear in each of these fields. What is the line OA? OA is the horizontal axis, that is x axis. So along OA, that is the x axis, and on x axis y is 0, it means dy is always 0. So the potential of y will also be 0 in that case. So when you have we will have the value along O P and E bar X into sine of Y. Sine of Y means sine of 0 into DX and Y is also 0. So E bar X and, uh, uh, it will have cos of uh, 0. Cos of 0 is 1 into D bar. So sin 0 is 0, this will vanish, ultimately sin y plus e bar x cos of y. This is the example of the The, what you have to do, you have to write down the limits of y and along to a, you just see the figure, along to a, the limits of y are 0 to 0, you just see. So, if the limits of y are 0 to 0, then it is very much clear that the value of this integral will come down to be 0. So, this will vanish. Now, uh, similar will be the case along A, B. And uh, what is the A, B? X is equal to 1. This is the law we have. This is the uh, equation of the line A, B. If X is 1, the differential of X will be 0. So, along A, B, the value will be 3 power 1. And uh, that will be sign of the uh, y and dx will come out to be 0 plus e power 1 into cos of y into dy. And what you need to do is term will vanish. You have to write down the limits of y along ab. So along ab, the limits of y are 0 to 5. We will just substitute the limits 0 to 5 by 2. P is common, that will be cos y sin y. So the integration of cos y is sin y 0 to 5 by 2. For the upper limit, we will have the value. So this value will come out to P. Now, similar will be the case along BP. So what is the BP? And that is the line y is equal to pi by 2. If you see it. So if y equal to pi by 2, then its definition will be 0. Because the pi by 2 is a constant, and its derivative will come out to be 0. So along the dp, we need to evaluate the integral. So that will be e power x sine y. So e power x sine pi by 2 into dx is there plus because the dy is 0. So e power x into cos of pi by 2 into dy and dy is come out to be 0. So this is second term will vanish. So ultimately uh, uh, this is the sine pi by 2. And the sine pi by 2 will be 1, so there will be e power x dx. 
So this is the integration with respect to x. And if you see dp, the limits of x will be 1 to 0. So integrated d e power x, the limits are 1 to 0. So e power 0 is 1 and e power 1 will be e power 1. So 1 minus e will be the value in this case. Now, Similar we have along P O. What is P O? That is y axis. Along y axis, x is 0. Then the differential of this will also be 0. So along P O, the value is E R 0. And the next will be sine of y into 0. Because the dx is 0 plus C. That is E R 0. Cause of y into d. Now, this is the integration because this term will vanish. So, this is the integration with respect to y. So, along y axis, the limits are pi by 2 to 0. So, integration of cause is sine that will be pi by 2 to 0. So, that will be 0 minus 1 at the end of the term of minus 1. Now we have been able to find out the values of the integral along all the lines of the rectangle to A, A, B, B, B and P. Now we just uh, substitute the values now. And uh, we will substitute the value here. And, uh, this will be the equation number one. Because we have uh, separated the total uh, of the four straight lines. Now from one we will be uh, substituting the value. So from one integration along C that will be F dot D and the uh, it come out to be the value of the first integral was zero and the uh, value of the uh, second integral was P. E. And, uh, <laughs> the third integral was 1 minus e, and the last integral was minus e. Ultimately, all the values have been vanished. So, all the terms will be cancelled with each other. So, we will have the value 0. So, total circulation of the given curve around the, of the given vector point function around the curve C is 0. So, this is the way to find out the circulation of the uh, this is a total circulation mean, this is also been named as the of a term. So, this is the procedure to find out the <coughs> work down. Uh, let us take one more example. And the question is, find the work done in moving a particle around the circle. The circle is given x square plus y square is equal to 9 in the xy plane in the field of a force and the force vector is 2x minus y minus z into i f x plus y minus z square into j f plus 3x minus 2y plus 4z into k f so the curve is a circle so in the circle you can uh, have the polar equations or polar coordinates put x is equal to 3 cos of theta, y is equal to 3 sin of theta. So ultimately what is the theta? Theta line would be 0 to pi by 2. It is always very easy when you convert the Cartesian coordinates x, y into polar r and theta. What is r? 3 radius of the uh, circle is 3 and theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. Now you know that what we want to do, we want to find out f dot dr. So first of all let us calculate dr. dr is uh, dx i cap plus dy j cap. No need to write down the component of p because circle is already to be to be bigger. So dx mean and derivative of x vector minus 3 sin theta 
डी छोटा इंटू आई रखा प्लस टू क्रॉस छोटा डी छोटा इंटू जी रखा सो दिस इज डीआर नाउ यू कैन सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ डॉट डीआर फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द रिक्वायर्ड सर्कुलेशन सो व्हाट इज द एक्स व्हाट इज थ्री क्रॉस छोटा सो सिक्स क्रॉस छोटा माइनस वाई जीरो सर्कुलेशन माइनस एंड माइनस के बीच प्लस है तो इसमें जो थ्री साइंस पर चिता ये चिता वो जो टेक करना है बाकी सो दैट इस जो प्लस थ्री एंड थ्री इस माइनस सो दिस इज आल्सो नाम दिस इज आल्सो नाम ऑस्टिया चिता एंड माइन साइन ऑफ चिता एंड कॉस ऑफ चिता ये चिता है ना Nine can be taken common, so sine square plus cos square is one. So nine will be and eighteen minus nine, that is minus nine sine theta or cos theta. <laughs> so this is the term we have, and uh, now we can find out the circulation. Circulation or required work done. So the required work done. Is in the integration within the limits zero to two pi f dot d i. So we just substitute the value of f dot d i. That will be one minus sine theta or theta into d. Now this is what we need to do. So nine the integration of one will be theta zero to two pi. And uh, that will be the derivative of sine is there, so that will be sine square theta. So, or you can simplify it in another way also. That will be more simpler. And uh, this integration that will be uh, sine two theta d theta. Because So you can multiply into two and divide by two. Now two sine theta cos theta will be sine theta. So the formula of sine two theta has been applied. So that will be nine to the power of two pi minus zero. That is two pi minus one by two. The integration of sine theta minus cos two theta upon two is equal to zero to two pi. So you can. Two pi minus n minus will be plus one by four. And now, put the upper limit two pi. That will be cos four pi. And the cos four pi is <coughs> always one. And the cos of zero is always one. So ultimately, this term will be zero. So nine to the eighteen. So this is the required work done in the. For the given vector point function, so I stop my class here. We shall continue in the next class. Thank you very much.